What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Sergeant Lynch. I'm back with another one, man. I feel like it's been forever since I've came up here and given y'all a little bit of content. So I figured I'd get up here and uh, I guess and uh, celebrate, if we will, my completion of my first year as a Sergeant First Class. I think it's been a pretty good thing. Uh, so far, one year and about one week complete sergeant first class man uh 18 months complete as a platoon sergeant been going through a lot of stuff man a lot of stressors uh just real busy man field training exercises we just got back from one recently probably within the last month and we're getting ready to leave here again uh probably probably within the next two months and it's just it's been a lot man my last field training exercise that we went to I had three staff sergeants that came with me. One of them was doing am ammunition handler the whole time, so he couldn't really get out there with us and, and train with us. I had no sergeants, no E5s that came with us. So we had to put a bunch of E4s in E5 positions while they were out there in the field. I feel like it was a good thing. Sometimes in the army, you gotta let the, you gotta throw the birds out the nest and let them fly. So uh, it was good for them because it definitely prepared a lot of them for their next uh, level of leadership, their next position. And one of them actually got promoted on s about seven, eight days ago on the first of the month. So <clears throat> big congratulations. Big congratulations to my NCO who just got promoted within that last last week or whatever. Speaking of sergeants, man, uh, it's been pretty tough. <clears throat> been pretty tough out here trying to get all this training and stuff complete without any without any sergeants. And it's it's just crazy because we have more training coming up. And once again, I'm only gonna have probably two sergeants and I'm, I'm probably only gonna have one or two staff sergeants out there with me while we're conducting this training. Um, so it's gonna be kind of crazy. The, and the reason why we're not gonna have any, barely any sergeants, just the two, is because y'all wouldn't believe this right now, but I have four NCOs that are on paternity leave right now. And that's kind of what I want to talk to y'all about today, man. I know I don't get up here that often, but I do have some information to share with y'all. That being said, I thought I'd talk about, you know, what happens when you get pregnant when you're in the army or, you know, when you have when your significant other gets pregnant and you and they have a baby in the army just want to talk about that man so when i had my first child back in 2013 the only paternity leave i the army was giving males fathers was 11 days we got 11 days of leave back then by the time my second child was born in uh 2018 by the time she was born i think we got 12 what 21 days i think it was 21 days of paternity leave and even when my son was born two years ago i think males had 21 days of paternity leave but now nowadays y'all males get 84 days i think it's three months three whole months of paternity leave and i think it i think it sucks for the unit and the platoon and stuff whenever they're giving this, this, all of this freaking maternity leave. I can understand that the army is doing it so that the father can have time to bond with, to bond with their child and stuff like that. But it just gets, I think 84 days is a long freaking time, man. That's a long time. Like that's, it really is almost like three months. And the thing about it is if the soldier wants to, they can take it the whole, all the way through Either or, whether they can take it all the way through or they can break it down. But to me, it's just tough because even if they break it down, I think whenever they decide to take it, I can't, I don't know the exact, I didn't look deep into the regulation, but I did look into it a little bit. Um, I know that it can be broken down, but it seems like they can, if they want to choose whenever they want to take it, like they can get out of any training exercise that's coming up. I, and I think they have to take it all within a year or something like that, but I don't know. I have one of my NCOs who's breaking their paternity leave up into different times so that he can be there for his other two children's birthday. 
wants to take that leave off for their birthdays. But I think some of that time is going to cut into some time that we're leaving and going to the field. And he's already not going to go to this one that we have coming up. He didn't go to the last one we had. So he's only, he's it's almost getting out of almost a year's worth of field training, which for him is not going to look good on his, on his evaluation report. Because he's not doing anything. He's not, you know, he's not getting out there training with us. He's not showing the soldiers anything. He's not displaying that leadership's that leader's presence. So it's it's kind of hindering. It just depends, I guess, on how they how the soldier wants to take it. Like I said personally, I think 84 days is a little lengthy for them to take maternity leave. Um, and maybe it's just because I grew up old school army, I guess, if you want to call it, where we only had 11 days, but. It's just a lot, man. I, I can't believe 84 days of, of paternity leave is what they get. And it's it's just crazy, man. It's crazy. It kind of makes me think that soldiers are strategically, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. But it's, it's a possibility. They could be strategically planning when to have kids. You know, I do. I have one, I have one NCO who, this is the crazy thing. He just had, I think he just had two two months away from the unit because he was in school. It's two months or, or six weeks. I think it was six weeks away, almost two months. Away from the platoon, away from the unit so that he can go to school. He, go, he comes back for maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks, and then his wife has a C-section. So now he's gone for 84 days. And on top of that, he's getting ready to get out of the army. Before his leave, before his 84 days of paternity leave is up, he will be out processed from the army. His time will be, his contract will be complete in the army. So I don't know. Sometimes it's a, it really is a coincidence, but it's, it really seems like some soldiers are planning these pregnancies like just the right time. Maybe not to avoid going to the field, but they know like if they have a school, they have school coming up or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's. Or maybe when they're, I don't know. It's, like I said, it's, it's just, it's complicated to deal with. It really makes me wonder and go, hmm. Really makes me wonder, wonder what's going on with it. But yeah, so that's that for the males. The females, right, once they have the baby, the females get a whole 12 months after they had their baby that they don't have to go do any field training exercise. If we're going to be away from the unit more than 24 hours, like an overnight thing, they don't have to go. I do have one soldier who... I don't have a soul. I have a soldier whose wife is also in our unit. She's in the other platoon. Now she had been away from training and did not want to be away from training for, so she didn't want to be away. It was for so long that she said, okay, we all are going to the field. I'm going to come out there every day and work with y'all. But at night, once y'all are done, you know, normal duty day ends, I'm going to leave and go home and then I'll be back first thing in the morning. So she looked freaking, she looked, it, it looked awesome on her part for her to, you know, still come out there and, and get it in with us while we were out there training, even though she wasn't required to come out there. She was not required to come do any training, but she said, I'm just going to come out there with you guys during the day. And then at nighttime, when y'all go to sleep, I'm, I'm not spending my 24 hours out there, just like regulation says. So she's going and she's doing her thing. Uh, but yeah, I wish that more. And then, by the way, I do have one one of my sergeants who had a baby. His wife had a baby. So he took leave. He came off of leave so that he can come to the field with us earlier this year. And then once we got back from the field, he came back and continued his paternity leave. That was also very freaking helpful and awesome of him too. So it's not all bad. It's not, you know, if, if the soldier does, I'm going to say the right thing. It's not right or wrong, but I'm just going to say if the soldier does it that way, does it that way, it's... It's a lot more helpful. It looks better on them. They still get their, you know, good bullets on their on their NCOER, on their evaluation report. And it's it's just, I don't know. I just thank that soldier. I thank my sergeant for doing doing his paternity leave that way because it really helped out when we needed to go out there and train. Gave us that leader's presence that we need and all that good stuff anyway. So, but yeah. Other than that, y'all, uh, my platoon sergeant life has been pretty crazy. Been pretty crazy. I picked up smoking a while ago, but as of today, I am now five days nicotine free. It's either five or six, one of the two, but 
uh, I feel good. I'm glad that I stopped smoking. I feel good about that. I've been getting a lot of support from people who know that I've stopped smoking. And I don't know. I feel I like I did it for good reasons. So I'm going to just keep on pushing with that. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me with me giving up cigarettes and tobacco and stuff like that, too. So good stuff, man. And I'm just keeping it moving. I'm going to keep pushing. I do have some things that I want to I do want to get off my chest and talk about, but I'll save them for another video. Thank y'all so, so much for coming to holler at me, man. Y'all take it easy. Those of y'all who are in the military and then when you have kids, enjoy your time that you get your leave, your paternity leave and your maternity leave. Enjoy that time. Take advantage. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, man. You're authorized your time. You're authorized your time. I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all have a great evening. Great day. Great weekend. Y'all stay focused and motivated. I'm out of here. Yeah.